Good evening. Camera Club entry for um, the January competition. It's a mixed media work and it's, what I've done is I've made a clamshell box. If anybody doesn't know what a clamshell box is, a clamshell box is a very, very sexy way of presenting prints. So what you do is you print out a series of prints, which I printed out 10 here, and then you place them inside one of these clamshell boxes. If you buy them, they're, they're pretty expensive. They're about $180 each, which is a bit bizarre. So I've quite simply got a, a, a photo um, paper box and spray painted it nice and grey, as you know, I typically want to do. And I've made this for Robert Eggett. Robert is a friend of mine from Denver, Colorado. He's one of Owen O'Meara's friends. And the other day he commented, he said he'd love to have one of my works. And I thought to myself, well, back in the day, Owen was a very, very good friend. Um, and we photographed the nudes a lot together and went in competitions and, and Robert was never involved. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, and so I put down the Canon Sessions, which is a book that Owen sent to me for free, which was really quite generous of him. And um, I thought, oh, what I'll do is I'll print some stuff out for Robert and put it into a clamshell box and I'll send it over to him in the United States. And I thought to myself, well, I might as well use it as a, a mixed media work before it goes for the camera club. And so this is the movie that I'm making now. What I've got here is I've got 10 prints. These are all infrared prints taken on the, uh, the Nikon um, Z7 II which I got converted to an infrared camera and I've quite simply put them in chronological order and this one is called Cloud Life and so these, some of these are on Facebook and some aren't but this one's called Cloud Life and so that'll be going in as the first one this one is titled Leaf Fall very very hard to see on here but there's a leaf, where is the little devil? there's the leaf right there that fell during the exposure and I sort of thought wow that's pretty cool so it called it Leaf Fall and so that's going in the book as well, as is Southwest, the Southwest Gardens. And these are taken during December and January, um, December of last year, January this year, or when we were getting an awful lot of thunderstorms coming through in the afternoon. And so you get very, very spectacular cloud formations, which infrared lends itself to, even the infrared conversion of a camera um, lends itself to it as, very, as, as really, really great stuff. This one's actually called the Alto Cumulus Approach, and so there are the Alto Cumulus coming in, as you can see. And this one I called the Maelstrom because this is quite dark. Um, Kevin Testy used to say, print them dark and get the silver working back in the old darkroom days, and so that's called Maelstrom. That's going in, and this one here is called, I actually put grain in this. Yeah, storm again. I put some grain in this in Photoshop and I looked at it when I printed it out today and I went, oh wow, look at that grain, that's actually getting towards infrared. And then when I was checking them out on Photoshop, I realised I actually put grain in the, in the shot. And so that is storm again with added grain from Photoshop. This one here is Alban's Sapling Forest Grass Tree and it's after a painting in the Muscle Brookshire collection by Fred Williams called Sherbrooke Forest. Um, and I was just down below the dam and photographing the trees down there and I suddenly thought, ooh, these are a lot like Fred Williams' sapling forest and so I then made a few works around that kind of notion and that was kind of one of my favourites. This one here is called By the Dam Grass Tree and the white tree in the background is actually a, um, an almost chinensis which has been sown by uh, the king parrots there in their poos. They've, um, they've done a poo there and this tree's grown up and in front of it is a... Uh, an acacia saligna, and the, the acacia saligna's got a really, really lovely black bark on it, and so it's really contrasting quite nicely with the um, with the white leaves on the Almus chinensis. This one was taken just the other day, it's called By the Dam again. Uh, I was focusing on the grass here because the grass is really, really lovely. The, the infrared's not really working, and colour just looks dumb uh, because it's also verdantly green and so bloody long at the moment. Um, but um, yeah, it's kind of like um, just a bit of a contrast between the, the foreground and the background. Um, so it's a bit of near ground, rear ground, if you like. Um, histor historic uh, exhibition by the camera club back in the day at the Art Centre. And this one here is called, I've actually mistitled this, I've called it Solitary Glide. It's actually called Solitary Ride, and it's a duck floating in the dam down there. I was fascinated by the reflection of the trees in the dam. 
and I went to photograph it and I looked back through all the files and I haven't actually photographed it the way I intended to, so that's one that I can keep for later. But anyway, there it is, there are the ten prints which are going in the clamshell box that I've made up for Robert, and I'm going to pop that in the mail once the camera club meeting is over um, on Thursday night, and I will be sending that off to Robert, uh, just because he's a nice bloke. I mean, I met Robert in Denver, I was, I was staying with Owen, we were staying with Owen, and Owen was going to have a party that night because I was in town and so he'd invited some of his friends who knew me and so on and so forth around. And um, I was at, we went down to the grog shop to get some grog and I'm getting out of the car and a voice shall said, Hey, Roger! And I'm going, what? <laughs> I've looked around and there's Robert. <laughs> Bloody in Denver, Colorado. And I'm just thinking, wow, this is really cool. You know, This is this guy that you know, I've never met face to face before and here he is, at, he's at the grog shop. Um, getting some grog for the party as well. So yeah, bit of fun. Good old Robert. So hopefully he'll like these. Uh, he really liked um, the last one, Solitary Glide, and uh, that's what I actually tempted him. He said, look, I need to buy some of your prints. So I thought, well, in payment for the Canon sessions that Owen sent me for free, I'd just give him 10 prints just for the fun of it, because I can. Okay, and so that's it. That's mixed media work for the Muscle Rock and District Camera Club January um, assignments. Okay. Thanks very much. See you next time.